Okay, and welcome back. So I'm going to talk to you about converting degree measure from decimal to minutes and seconds and to go from minutes and seconds to decimal. So let's start off with the basic concept you're going to need to know in order to be able to do this. First of all, you need to know that one degree is equal to 60 minutes and that one minute is equal to 60 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to do this nice and slow so that you understand this. I, I already know exactly where the hiccup is going to be. Most people are probably given, you know, like 28.765591 degrees and they're asking you to go from this to something with degrees some minutes and some seconds, right? Okay, well to get from this point to this point requires you to know uh, a very basic concept which I'm going to introduce right now. To do that, what we're going to do is figure out what point 0.4 of one degree is, okay, in minutes. That's what we're going to, I'm asking right now. We're going to figure out what 0.4 of 1 degree is. Well, if 1 degree is 60 minutes, so what I'm saying is 0.4 of means times, and 1 degree is 60 minutes, is going to give me what's 0.4 times 60. You can use your calculator. You're going to get 24 minutes, right? Simple. Okay, now let's do it again. How about 0.3? of one degree. What's that equal to in minutes? Well, 0.3 times 60. Remember, one degree is equal to 60 minutes. See this? One degree is equal to 60 minutes. Okay. So, 0.3 times 60 is going to give you what? 18, right? So that's going to be 18 minutes. So that's basically the concept you need to understand. As you see this point 0.4 here? Let's say it was an angle like this. What if it was 39.4 degrees? Okay. Then, this is what you do. First of all, you have 39.4 degrees. Okay, so what you do is you take the 39 part of it and you write it down. 39. This point 0.4, you do that on the calculator, so basically it's going to be, um, well, this is 39 degrees. Okay, so you take the point 0.4 part now and you multiply that times 60 to get the minutes, and that'll give you, as we did over here, point 0.4 times 60, and that's going to be 24 minutes, and that's the notation for minutes right there, okay? easy right now let's do another problem this time we have 48.3 see we already did the point three part here so let's do this 48.3 degrees well you take the whole number part of it and you write that down 48 degrees the point three part is point three of 60 minutes right so that's going to be 18 minutes and so that'll be 18 minutes um, I'm hoping that this, so far right now, your brain's going, okay, yeah, 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 this is starting to make some kind of sense now, yeah. Yeah, it's because this concept right here, you have to get this concept down first, you see. It helps to understand how that works, the the decimal point portion of a degree, okay? <clears throat> so now let's do something a little bit more difficult. What we're going to do is we're going to incorporate uh, minutes and seconds into the whole equation. So as we did here with this 0.4 of 1 degree, we could easily replace the 1 degree with 1 minute, and that'll give us the seconds, right? Okay, you following what I'm saying? Let me, let me, let me do this. Let me put a line over here. Maybe this might help. I'm going to copy the same thing down, okay? Instead of me saying 0.4 of 1 degree, I'm going to write 0.4 of 1 minute. And that'll give me a certain amount in seconds, right? See this little table here, we need this table. This is important for us to look at later. Okay? 
So we do the same thing. If one minute is 60 seconds, okay, then we just write 0.4 of is times one minute is actually 60 seconds. And if we calculate that out, we're going to get 24 seconds, right? Now we'll do the same thing with this, with the same numbers we did before because we're used to them already, okay? We like these numbers. 0.3 of one minute is equal to how many seconds? Well, that's 0.3 of is times 1 minute is 60 seconds. So 60 seconds is equal to 18 seconds. Alright? Simple. Okay, so here is the next part. We have this, so now this is just you know figuring out the uh, decimal point part of one minute in terms of seconds is what we've done. Now, this is where you have to be very careful. How many seconds are in one degree? Uh-huh, you see, now it's starting to get more difficult. One degree is equal to 60 minutes. Okay, but how many seconds is that? you have to understand this part some of you are already going well if one degree is 60 minutes and 60 seconds per one of those minutes so that means it's 60 times 60 right you understand what I'm saying if one degree is 60 minutes and each one of those minutes contains 60 seconds so then it's 60 times 60 which is what 3600 seconds right okay you gotta know that that is we'll we'll introduce that here in a second Okay, uh, I'm just going to write that down over here. I'm going to add that into our little table, but I'm not going to necessarily use it right now. So, one degree is equal to 3600 seconds. Okay, actually, I should make that nicer. Okay. So now let's work with something a little bit more difficult. I'm going to get rid of the stuff on the left. We don't need it. 